Hi everybody, I'm Ron Canner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And we are today in Park Timna and this place is amazing. It was created, well, according to some folks, 50 million years ago. But creation scientists believe that when we read in Genesis 10.25, it says in the days of Peleg, the earth was divided. So think about this. The earth was completely underwater during the time of Noah. And then later on in the time of Peleg, the earth was divided. And that's when this was created, the Syrian African rift. This was all underwater and it split in half and created this amazing valley. And it's interesting because the word peleg comes from the verb lefaleg and a pilug is a division or an earthquake. And the earth, as the Bible says, was divided. And it left behind some of the most amazing rock formations, such as the pillars of Solomon and the mushroom rock. In this area, they discovered tons of copper. In fact, the oldest copper mines in the world are right here in Park Timna. Until that time, nobody understood that you could take the copper from the rock and create metals. But they discovered that here and there are thousands of copper mines in this area. Now, for over a thousand years, those copper mines have been dead. But Ben-Gurion, after Israel became a nation again, he said, let's open them back up. Let's once again mine for copper. Back in the 1930s, there was a Professor Glick that came here and found some uh, uh, remains, some ruins right near Solomon's Pillars. And he was the one that nicknamed them Solomon's Pillars. And he said a thousand years before the time of Yeshua, this was a copper mine and it belonged to the kingdom of Solomon. Folks believed that for a little while, but then some other archaeologists said, no, no, no. It goes back about 300 years more to the Edomites. However, just recently, Tel Aviv University professor Erez Ben Yosef, he found in another area some olive pits, some date pits, big deal. Well, when they did the carbon dating, they were able to see that these olive pits and date pits literally go back exactly to the time of Solomon. Now, what's amazing about that is that we have the technology to differentiate between an olive pit, I ate a date yesterday, <laughs> and an olive pit that was eaten by human beings, Jewish people that were here mining for copper in the days of Solomon. So the nickname Solomon's Pillars does apply. So the next time you're in Israel, you have to come south and visit this amazing, beautiful park, Park Timna. I hope to see you here. Now, don't miss even one episode, so go to God.tv.